what's up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel so in today's video this is the long awaited video for my 10,000 mcg micrograms thank you to thank you to that thank you to that comment please thank you but this is the long awaited video for my results on the 10,000 mcg liquid biotin that we've been taking for three months straight we took for three months straight y'all and here's that video it was supposed to be up on the first of june and now it's the 24th so we're a little behind again my bad but it's better late than never right <laughs> so this is the second time i'm doing this video the first time was for the 5000 mcg biotin the liquid kind but i feel like that video was just drowned out a little too much y'all was asking for the before and after so i'm just gonna give y'all a little link check right now just so that way you guys can do a little comparison and i'm gonna kind of put the old pictures from three months ago here somewhere on the screen just so that way y'all can do the comparison and see the difference for yourself experience with the liquid biotin I would say it would be the same as the first challenge that we did I can clearly see when my hair is wet and especially when it's down and wet that it did grow quite quite a bit um, as far as the shedding I did see a significant difference in terms of less shedding like I told you guys before my hair does shed a lot when I detangle in and out the shower so pretty much I did see a significantly less amount of shedding um, when I was taking the liquid biotin for the three months. However, once it left my system, it just went back to normal shedding. It's a, it's a genetic thing, I guess. Also, another thing that I've noticed, um, be like before, when I was taking the biotin along from my hair, aside from my hair, um, I did not experience any breakouts, thank God. Um, they do say to drink a good amount of water when you do take biotin. Um, because if you don't, because it is contributing to your skin and you're just drinking like, uh, I guess sodas or whatever it is aside from water, then that can kind of contribute to acne. But my skin has never been acne prone. So again, that's why I do have that belief that it is genetic. So if your family is just acne prone, you're thinking of taking any type of biotin, um, then you would certainly have to follow pretty much the instructions of drinking a good dosage of water. Also, in regards to my nails, like I said the first time, my nails, they don't break as easily. But now that I haven't been taking it for almost three weeks because it's now the 24th of June and this was supposed to go up on the 1st. But I'm glad I kind of did wait this extra period just so that way I can tell you guys this. Um, but I did notice that my nails, they are becoming like a little bit softer so a, a few of them broke. But now that I'm not taking the biotin anymore, like I said, my nails are just a little bit more softer. When I was taking them, my nails were hard. Like if I literally just put like 
clear polish on it'll feel like I had like gel or something even though it didn't look like it but it just didn't break even if I hit them on something they didn't break now they do I get in the shower and I get in the water and it just yeah so pretty much that has remained the same as my experience from the first time I did the liquid biotin as well so pretty much that has not changed but in conclusion I would say that the liquid biotin it definitely did work um, I definitely did see a change in my hair especially in regards to shedding like I said attempting to see the growth um, when you're taking the liquid biotin for three months especially for somebody whose hair just shrinks up I would say there's really no difference like I said I haven't really seen a significant amount of growth from the first time that we've did it the only real change that I honestly can say is that the taste of the liquid biotin was the real change between the two honestly like I said I personally feel like they both work great a little bit faster than the pill version definitely the, the absorption rate is just faster than the pill version however in comparison to the two uh, micrograms um, I feel like it's going to give you the same outcome you will still experience hair growth you will still experience nail growth and health and healthy skin and everything but I feel like honestly there's no difference between the two so I do hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my